Here. Oh man, now you look at it like this. Eddie Bloss, the dreamer from Lima, as we know, coming fresh off of his victory over DB Craft at the last Warehouse Wars, then Eo O'Neill, who really needs a win. He ha he's had a bad string of luck lately. He lost to Chris Kushner. He's having his problems with, you know, the show, Mr. Jones, the show, Mr. Jones, all that. And then what about uh, what about Rika? Oh, 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 the glasses are off. That's uh, that's a party foul. That. <laughs> And then Rico Diamante, as we know, we just heard in his promo, which was a phenomenal promo, yes. by the way. You know, young, arrogant young man, you know, and all that. And then we have Mason Walls, who, you know, and I touched on, I've been in the ring with him, you know, coming off of a victory last Warehouse Wars also. You know, it, these guys, they're, they're going to deliver here. Tonight. Tons of athleticism, tons of entertainment in this ring right now. You got the gun show and the man who believes he is the entire show. Uh, the Shining Diamond, Rico Diamante. Uh, evolution implications abounding here as we have a half of the uh, Pick Your Partner tag match. Mason Walls will be teaming with another show, the show Mr. Jones against uh, Eel O'Neal and... Uh, a partner of his choosing. Uh, I, which I believe is the... Uh, 
former EWA Maryland champion Sly Scarpone. Yeah. And then you have the appetizer match. Yeah, which we've just been informed, you know, of the appetizer match. You know, obviously Eddie Bloss and Rico Diamante, which is the final first round match for the Warehouse Wars Championship Tournament. Yes, so definitely uh, kicking off the uh, the the appetizer segment of uh, the uh, main shows with a bang. The fourth and final first round match for the Warehouse Wars title uh, in the tournament. Now these two are uh, uh, displaying some uh, good chain wrestling uh, type you, maneuvers here. I'm kind of surprised at the way that Mason Walls, he's kind of, you know, showing a little bit of respect to Eel and Neil. Yeah. Which, you know, you don't really see too much of that. And, you know, this, uh, the Mason Walls that I was in the ring with was more aggressive. But, you know what, respect in this business is a huge thing. So, showing the respect, and these guys are pretty oh! Oh, Man, what a hard shot. And, you know, he couldn't resist, so, hey. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know. Oh. Oh, and that that may have been a bad move right there because Mason Walls. Uh, when the you know, fists have been dropped, yeah. that means uh, things are about to go down, and uh, I don't think the respect factor is going to be there anymore after uh, after that somewhat cheap shot from Eli. Yeah. Well, what I know what I noticed was the uh, the um, the match with Mr. Jones at uh, Summer Sizzler seemed to turn something on in uh, Eli O'Neill. A little bit of killer instinct that yeah. maybe he was uh, missing before. DDT, he faked him out with that maneuver. And uh, he's definitely going to need that, especially uh, when he's going up against the gun show and the show in that pick your partner challenge. And here comes a Dreamer from Lima. Snap Mayor, Dreamer from Lima. Now Bloss, oh, nice handstand. Oh! oh drop here, what a tag team maneuver from those two. They're making sure oh, to get oh, in yeah, sync yeah, there. And, oh, it oh. Walls, he retreats over. So okay. now we've got... We're now being joined by Saul Esperanza up here, which Esp I have no idea. Espinoza? Espinoza. I lost. But, yeah, I know you lost. You kind of... I lost. You were hang oh. I lost. Yeah, you're out of the tournament. I know you lost. <laughs> is there anything you want to say to everybody at home besides you lost? Is, it, is he taking a mirror like Kushner now? Um, right. apparently it's, uh... Ah, are, are you attracting these weirdos up here? Like, what? what uh, I, I don't attract anybody. Um, wait, that didn't sound right. What, he, uh, what, what, what exactly brings you up here? Why, why are you up here? I'm scouting. You're scouting? But you just said you lost. What's, what's the point of your scouting? Worry. Oh, big drop kick from, uh, Rico Diamante. But See, now... Ray, it's time to yeah. regroup. And I'm here to scout, but don't worry about it, okay? So are you scouting for the Christian Academy? Is that what you're saying? Oh, you're looking shut, at these four men. Right, shut up. Shut up. All right, all right. Look, don't, don't forget I was a member of the Christian Academy myself. I oh, man, what a tag team maneuver. These two gentlemen working well together. Yeah, that's my boy. So. Oh, so you're interested in Rico Diamante. Don't work. I'm leaving. All right, well. That what, was a little weird. What did you do to get him to leave I so no I can idea. remember for next time? I have no idea who Ray is. My name's Chase Rowland. So oh. I think those I think those shots he took in that match when he had that far away look, he may have a concussion. Yeah, so I let's mean get back to the action in the ring. He Hopefully. may be scouting talent. He may yeah. be scouting uh, to win the Warehouse Wars title, but he won't be the first Warehouse Wars champion. You know he was eliminated earlier in the evening. Yeah. You know, and you see, here's the thing. I would not be surprised if Jim Christian is having him scout for the Christian Academy because the Christian Academy has always had power in numbers. So, you know, that's the whole thing. But who's he looking at? Mason Walls, Mason Walls, great athlete. You know, or maybe it could very well be Eli O'Neill or Eddie Bloss. Who knows? Or, or you, know, you know, the shining diamond would yeah. probably be somebody with the confidence that uh, Jim Christian would be looking for. So definitely he's on the radar as well, all four of these men. And look at it like this, the Shining Diamond, he still has the potential to win the EWA Warehouse Wars Championship. Yes. So not only would he be a Shining Diamond, but he would also have a Shining Championship around his waist on, you know, oh. if he can win the tournament. But he needs to make it past Eddie Bloss first, and then he needs to make it past both of these gentlemen tonight. Well, they are definitely... Uh, Doing some tag team schooling here. They're cutting a the ring off on the Dreamer from Lima. Oh, oh, big, big backdrop. 
One, two, and that's not going to be enough. Only a two gotta, count. You got to do more than that to beat Eddie Bloss. And there's a Eel O'Neal on the side. He wants his partner to make a tag if he can make it over to him. So. And now that, that that Mason Wallace that's on the apron, that's the Mason Wallace that I know. Rico Diamante, a little bit of a different look. His hair's uh, blue, you know, tonight. Yes. So. Yeah, there, there's there's a few different uh, hair colors going on here in this uh, in this environment uh, to kind of keep uh, with the uh, rather chaotic nature we've had this evening. Uh, full of cultists and people walking around with uh, swords and uh, uber beats and speaking and, of beats and idiots coming up here starting stuff with me yes you know, the, the round like, table commentary table what kind of circus act are we having here like this uh, is insane I don't know but you never know what you're going to get at the uh, pain factory during one of our warehouse wars events and there right, and did, he just, old, did he just pull you off the road? yes he did oh, an old midnight express maneuver cutting off yeah. the uh Cutting off oh, the legal no, man boss, there. Boss doesn't have anybody to tag, so that, you know this is definitely a benefit for these two gentlemen, these two young, you know, hungry competitors. Uh, like, oh, what a shot! Oh, uh, now those kicks. Those are the same kicks he hit on Damon Price at the last. Oh, one. oh and now a shot to the head. Shining Diamond with a lot to prove at the appetizer match at the next EWA show Evolution. That's going to be his debut on the main, main roster. Yeah, and I mean, the spotlight being on Rico Diamante, it's its its the day he has been waiting for ever since he first walked into the pain factory. I feel like the spotlight has been on Rico Diamante since the day he was born. At least that's how he presents himself. Well, you know, when you uh, refer to yourself as the Shining Diamond 738 times over yeah. the course of four shows, you, you, you don't lack for confidence. And look at the aggressiveness here on Mason Walls and Eddie Bloss, the dreamer from El from Lima, is trying to get up the best way he can. Firing off some shots into those uh, into those abs of Mason Walls, but oh! Tornado Lariat, cover one, two! And uh, Eel O'Neal is uh, trying to urge his partner on here. He has been getting beat on for the better part of uh, about five minutes here. And, uh, well, Rico cut him off at that point. Now he's, uh, oh, now, oh, now he is working on the arm. Certainly trying to diversify his game here and seems to be doing so. Oh! Now keep in mind too that Eddie Bloss and Rico Diamante, whoever wins this match will advance to face Chris Kushner in the second round in the semifinals. Of that'll the be the that'll be the appetizer match, yes. And uh, now he's uh, is this the uh, shining diamond elbow? Oh, and oh! It is. It didn't quite work out for him the way he expected, but. Uh, um, well, Mason seemingly trying to coach him along here. Uh, Mason Walls, the veteran of the team, so. Uh, you see Diamante, he's kind of smacking him around, you know, taking advantage of a fallen competitor. Oh, hard forearm. Well, now, he, now he's trash talking him, and uh, that has always been basically, sort of a crutch. Basically telling Bloss, come on, give me the best thing you got. Give me the oh, and there it is, hey, hard shot. Is Eddie Bloss, he's now fighting back. Oh, now hard shot. Oh! oh what a hard slap. This is the fire you're going to see on September 13th. Huh. Tall Cedars Hall, this will be the first thing you see that evening. And now both men are down. Both men, both men down. And look, Diamante, he's going the wrong direction. Your partner's over there, Diamante. Yeah, there you yeah. go. You're heading the wrong direction. So. Dream a chance going on here. There's the hot tag, both sides. And here comes Eel. Eel comes in, he's a house of fire. Down goes Walls, down goes Diamante. Oh, wait, oh, uh, 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 picks him up and, oh, what is? Oh, oh, there's a oh, tag. There's a tag. Oh! Yeah, what a what a nice power slam like maneuver. Bloss now goes to the top. Oh! oh a cross body. Oh, well, 
Socrates's Socrates's commands are going on deaf ears here. As yeah, uh, I mean, he's kind of losing control of this match quick. But I think the two legal men are indeed Mason Walls and Eel O'Neill. The half of that pick your partner tag match, one of many big matches. At Evolution. Oh, and look, did you see the blind tag? Yes. Shining diamond, and there's there's a diamond cutter right there. Big, big diamond cutter. However, Rico Diamante is waiting. Wait, 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 wait. It's Blast the Legal Man. We forgot all about Blast. That's right. There was that blind tag off the double team maneuver earlier. That blind tag. However, this is double teaming right here. And oh! Spinning slam and a brain Could buster simultaneously. Two, three. That's it. That's it.